When your association first becomes incorporated, your constitution will record what types of meetings your association has, when these meetings need to be held, and what purpose the meeting is for. Here are some examples of different types of meetings. Management committee meetings. The meetings of the committee are held at least four times every year and are for the committee to discuss projects, plans for the association and staff employment. The general membership does not attend these meetings. You must be invited or seek approval to attend if you are not a committee member. Special committee meetings. Urgent meetings of the committee are called special committee meetings and are usually called to deal with a dispute or grievance or other matters of urgency. Minutes from the committee meeting are not available to the members. General meetings. General meetings are for all members. Not all associations have general meetings. However, some have these meetings monthly and use the meeting as a good opportunity to recruit new members and to display the different activities on offer. Annual general meetings. The AGM is held yearly for the purpose of discussing the year's achievements and concerns, presenting the financial statement, electing a committee, making large decisions, such as major expenditure, amending a constitution, and determining the auditor for the following year. Special general meetings and special resolutions. A special general meeting is held to deal with specific motions or business that requires a vote by the whole membership. These meetings are used for removing a committee member, handling appeals or expulsion of members, amending the constitution, or presenting overdue financial statements. An association must give their members at least 21 days notice of the meeting where a special resolution is going to be presented. A special resolution must be passed by three quarters of the votes at the meeting. Electronic meetings. Associations can hold any of their meetings in person or by using technology, and these meetings can be held in more than one location at the same time. It is important that all members have access to the same electronic method of attending. For example, Skype, Zoom or telephone. Please ensure your constitution reflects your ability to hold electronic meetings. Here are some helpful tips for running and organising your meeting. Your constitution determines the minimum number of members required for a meeting. If you do not have a quorum, the meeting must be postponed. Any decisions made without a quorum are invalid. Members who attend electronically are considered to be part of the quorum. The minutes of every meeting must be confirmed by the chairperson, signed, dated and stored for at least seven years. Members must be provided access to any general meeting minutes. This includes general meetings, annual general meetings and special general meetings. Your organisation is made up of volunteers, so it is important that you make the most effective use of everyone's time by ensuring that meetings are structured and effective. Take the time to prepare for the meeting, follow up action items and set the agenda beforehand. Your agenda will form the basis for your minutes. Also, ensure all attendees sign in before the meeting. If you have a large group, consider separating those who hold a vote or give them a particular colour card to hold up. This will ensure there are no disputes about voting rights that have to be addressed later. Your constitution determines the voting rights of members. Different membership categories may have different voting rights. To be eligible to vote, you must be over the age of 18 years and be up to date with your membership fee and considered a financial member. The ability to vote by proxy and the method to do so is confirmed in your constitution. Not all associations have proxy voting. For more information on starting an association and becoming incorporated, please keep watching or chat to the association's compliance team at associations.compliance at nt.gov.au. Visit www.nt.gov.au slash associations.